Okay, so today I'm going to film a video about books that I have purchased in the months of February and March. So this is going to be kind of a book haul. I mean, I guess it kind of is a book haul. Anyway, the first book I got in February is called The Duff, and it is by Cody Keplinger. Basically, what this is about, it's about a girl who has an excellent group of friends. She's kind of awkward, and then eventually she finds out she is the group's duff, which is their designated ugly fat friend. This book was so good. It was funny, it was relatable, and I just absolutely loved it. I recommend it to everyone. Um, I have not seen the movie yet. I really, really want to see the movie, but it's not out on DVD, so I'm going to have to wait until it comes out on DVD. The second book is... Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. Go away, Fuzz. Um, I've actually got the hardback of Hollow City on my bookshelf, and the reason I purchased the paperback is because it has a preview of the last book in it. So, there's a hiccup. So, I got this book. Um, I like hardbacks more than I like paperbacks, but they don't have it in the hardback with the third book and it so I got the second. the next book my mom got me in March or was it February I think it was February and it's it's kind of a funny story by Ned Vizzini this book is so good I definitely recommend it the movie was excellent by the way um this book made me cry like a baby I'm not even joking I was sobbing with this book it was so good. Definitely recommend it. I'm oh, sorry. I'm really tired. <sighs> the next book I have is The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. The first book was incredible. The second book is really good so far, but as you can tell, I haven't really gotten that far into it because I've just been busy with life and school and, yeah, just basically life in general. So, yeah, um, it's really good so far, though. And I am on chapter whatever. I'm on chapter 17. I'll have to definitely read more of this. The next book I have is Let's Get Lost by Adi Elsad. I think you'll like this book if you liked Paper Town, just because it's sort of similar to Paper Towns. Not really, really similar, but it is sort of similar to Paper Towns. Um, you get more than one person's story in this, and I think the author does a really awesome job of telling each character's backstory and why they're in the current situation they're in now and the character development is amazing the writing is amazing the storyline is amazing this whole book is just amazing I loved it so much so I'm reading it again it's so good I definitely recommend it the next book I have is Girl Online by Zoe Sugg this book is so cute the cover is cute the inside of the book, the polka dots. That's so cute. The storyline of this is amazing. I absolutely love the characters. The dialogue is awesome. Um, I liked Penny a lot. So, I really like this book. It's so good. Definitely recommend it. Um, the girl, Zoe, she actually has a YouTube channel. And her YouTube channel is right here. Zoella, if you don't watch her on YouTube or you don't know who she is, I definitely recommend you look up some of her videos. They are really, really good. Um, the next book that I have is The Murmurings by Carly Ann West. I haven't started this book, but I've been wanting to read it for a long, long time. And basically, I'll just read the back cover of this. Okay, everyone thinks Sophie's sister now went crazy. After all, she heard strange voices that drove her to commit suicide. But Sophie doesn't believe that Nell would take her own life, and she's convinced that Nell's doctor knows more than he's letting on. As Sophie starts to piece together Nell's last days, every lead... My nose is itchy. <laughs> Allergies. Every lead ends in a web of lies. And the deeper Sophie digs, the more danger she's in, because now she's hearing the same haunting whispers. Sophie started to think that she's going crazy too, or worse, that maybe she's not. So, I thought the back, of the, I thought the um, summary sounded amazing. The tagline is awesome. The tagline is, the voices in her head are not her own. 
And I've been wanting to read this for so long, so I have very high expectations for this book, and I'm hoping it's a good book. It looks good. Um, everyone I talked to told me, do not read this book in the dark. Do not read this book when you're alone. Just, um, so, I have a feeling it might be a little bit creepy, and I actually have read books that people have told me, don't read them in the dark by yourself, and I read them in the dark by myself, and that book is... Chain Letter by Christopher Pike. It's over there. I actually read that book in the dark at 2 a.m. by myself at my grandmother's house. My grandmother's house is over 100 years old, so it's going to creak and pop and settle. And every noise I heard, I was like, yeah, I'm going to die. But, yeah, it was scary. So, I'm kind of hoping this book is a little scary or a lot scary. I like scary books. So, yeah, I will have a review up on this when I'm done. Spoiler free, of course. And then the last book I purchased was, is, um, All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. This book is so good so far. The cover is adorable. I love it. It has an amazing storyline. The characters are amazing. And the dialogue is just phenomenal. I love it. And it's just, it's so perfect. I'm 110 pages in right now. And I am absolutely in love with this novel. It is so good, and I highly recommend it. Go read it. Like, right now. It's amazing. The last book I don't have with me because my mom is reading it, it is Sanctum by Madeline Rowe, which is the sequel to Asylum by Madeline Rowe. That book is incredible. Um, it's even scarier than the first book. The first book was pretty creepy. If you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. I think um, I think Sanctum was a lot creepier than Asylum, but Asylum was Asylum was really creepy, and Sanctum was just like creepier because it had more of like the stalkerish type feel to the book, and yeah, I just really really loved it. So I recommend all of these books I was talking about, plus Chain Letter, Asylum, Sanctum. Um, yeah, it's really good. So, that's all. Bye.